Hi there. I'm on a stubble field. But they have done a little bit of cultivation in a few lines. So I'm going to go up these first because I want something quite easy today. Um, because I've got my, got my new machine. If you watched my last video, I have decided after long last, after two years, to, to give the XP Deus a try. I've got the equivalent of the light version. They call it WS6 Master or something fancy like that. And I bought it through LP Metal Detecting and they were absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't have sponsorship or stuff with them, um, but they were, they were fabulous to deal with. Um, ask for Ashley Jones and tell them I sent you because I've got two XP Deus ones because when I'm teaching, my pupils use one of them and I can listen in on it. Um, so I had, I had this bit already on one of them. I have the charging cable. I've got all the gubbins over and over again. So we just bought the, the Deus 2 coil, 11 inch, and, and the WS6 Master, which is the, basically the puck. And I put my headphones, which I really like using, um, into that. So the whole thing came out really quite cheaply and they were just brilliant. Very good customer service, I can't fault them. So if you need stuff, they're a very good place to, they're a very good place to start. Anyway, so we're out with this. I'm not gonna go into all the technical jargon and, and, and all my feelings on it. I've only just started using it. It's about my third time out with it. Um, until I get a bit better at it, I'm just gonna keep, basically keep my thoughts to myself. Um, but it is a different machine but I think it's going to be really, really good fun. I've not found much yet, apart from possibly the best Jetton I have ever found. And um, you're not going to miss this. I'll plug in later so you can hear what these things sound like. But this would have been found by any machine because <laughs> it's big. It's an absolute whopper. And it's an early French one, I think, from the Fleur de Lis and stuff I can see on it. But it's in brilliant condition and it's huge. I mean, they come in all shapes and sizes, Jettons. Um, we may even whiz back to headquarters quickly and I can tell you a bit about them because they're quite interesting. I have done a video on them but ages ago um, and this one's a particularly nice one to use as an, as an example. So let's just have a, let's have, let's have a quick look. Hi there and welcome to headquarters. Well that was about the third time out with that machine and it's going to be very interesting. It's definitely taken me quite a long time to get used to. And thank you very much for all those of you who have given me um, tips already on on what to expect, they've been really helpful. I think what I'm taking most away is treat it like a new machine and, and, and don't try and make it too much like the original Deus. It's hard to do that. Um, it, it, it is a very different machine, but I want it. To, I want to try and make it run like the old one because because that's what I'm that that's what I need it for. And as I said, it's it's taking me a bit of time. It's no slouch. You get a lot of confidence with that machine. It's the, the program that I run it on is very very sparky. And, and you definitely don't feel you're missing much, but the, my initial thoughts, it's not a very refined machine. It's, it's loud and squawky and noisy, but there are definitely subtleties to it. So even though what, what would with the old DSB maybe just a tiny little wisp, this one's much, much tougher. And there's certain things which I really am having to get used to, which is mainly the iron falsing. It, the program I'm using, it's absolutely terrible, but you do get used to it. You do get used to what is fairly obviously iron and, um, and, 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 and what's not. But the annoying thing is that I'm having to go about 15 times slower because I'm having to check everything, which you didn't have to do with the Deus One. Anyway, the bottom line is that, as I said, I'm not missing much. And certainly on pasture, as you'll see in my upcoming videos, I've had two or three fabulous sessions and I've got bits and pieces on my desk. You may see if you're eagle eyed. I don't really want to show you at the moment, but this video is going to be quite a short one. Just getting used to it and um, following videos are going to be hopefully, I mean, really wonderful. Um, in pasture, there's a definite edge, absolutely without question. On cultivated land, when you just want a fairly high reactivity, even though I don't like a high reactivity because I don't find the audio response is good enough, um, I, I'm not noticing much different. In fact, I, it's not as nice. It's definitely not even as nice to use. It's not very relaxing. Um, 
I, I think it's I think it's almost harder work on cultivated land when you're often just nicking stuff off the surface. Um, but again, that's because I haven't really played around with all the settings and I haven't really played around with all the programs. I've chosen one program, which is the program number three. I want to actually get really good at that rather than flicking around too much because I think that's the one that's going to best suit my needs. Anyway. Enough of that. I'm hoping never to really bang on too much about the Deus 2 because you would have heard it all before over the last two years by other people. So I don't think I can add anything new to it particularly. Um, but um, early thoughts are generally good, but hard work. And I'm having to slow down. I can't gallop around like I used to with the Deus 1. Anyway, enough of that. Very quickly, I won't bang on about Jetons either because we did it in the last video or more or less in the last video. And sorry to bang on about the Deus 2 for so long already, but it's mainly because I'm, I'm, genuinely, I'm genuinely very excited about it. But it's just... I, okay, that's enough, that's enough. This Jetton, I'm, part of me says, is it actually even a Jetton? It is far bigger than basically any other Jetton I've found. Um, I thought it was French because of all the, the fleur-de-lis and everything on it. And on the one side, in one of the quarters, you can see the, the French fish. I can't remember what it's called, a poisson de France or something like that. You do get French medieval jettons with the fish on it, a sort of dolphin type fish on it. I've got one somewhere. I'm, I'm going to grab this little French one, actually, because it's, it's one of my favourites in my, in my better French jetton tray. Um, here we go. This one here. Let's just put that there. It's absolutely lovely. I can't remember the name of it, but it is an early French one. Nice and thick, in really good condition. It's got the cross on the back um, and a sort of dolphin -y type fish leaping there. Really pleased with that. And that is and that's replicated in, in one of the um, in one of the quarters of the shield on that side, or the one which is in the cross. Um, but, but I can't actually locate it in anything online uh, talking about French Jetons. And this is just to give you an idea. This one the other day I found, the Lion of St. Mark, that, that's a fairly big Jetton. That really is. But it, it's noticeably much smaller than that one. So I'm just wondering if it's a Jetton at all or maybe a, a French coin or even maybe a, a counterfeit French coin. Um, I, I'm just not sure. I have put it on the detecting hub but only an hour or so ago and they haven't got back to me yet. I think it's a German Jetton looking like a French one is the answer. And there you have, and there you have um, just three together. A, the, my huge one, a, a, a good sized normal one and then a small Nuremberg one there. So who knows? Anyhow, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's a tough one. It's not flimsy like some of these later ones um, and it's a really cool find. I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to that um, and as I said do watch out for later videos because there's some there's some good there's some good things coming up uh, and let's go back to the field. Anyhow so this is really exciting and I'm going to give this a really good working over today nice and gently just getting the hang of it. Um, as I said it's a different machine and it's going to be good fun but I won't I'm sure I'll still have a place for the old one too. I hope so, I love that machine. Well, I'm having a really lovely morning. I hope you can hear me, the wind's a bit fierce. And I found a few bits and pieces, buttons and the like. Um, but, and the program I'm using, which is program number three, something called Sensi, Sensitive Full Tones, um, is going to take a bit of getting used to. It's very different, but good signals are very, very obvious, very clear, very nice. It's the iron full thing. Anyhow, I told you I'm not going to bore you with that now. I'll give you all my thoughts on this in about two weeks' time. I found a very nice little Roman pin, I think. And amongst other bits and pieces and rubbish. Um, this rather nice, I think it's probably 17th, 17th century, post-medieval, um, sort of scallop-shaped belt mount. That's really, really cool. And then just down here, we've unearthed our first Roman coin. Well done. I never named my last machine, but I'm calling this one Doris because she's punchy um, at the moment. 
But yeah, a lovely little Roman coin. Um, and it's a fourth century bronze, and it's got the soldiers and two standards on one side. I can see very clearly Gloria Exercitus to the glory of the army, um, and the um, SLC, I think is the, the mint mark. We'll look that up. But that's, that's really cool. I'm really pleased with that. Um, a nice little Roman coin. It's hard going. This bit's all right. This double's a bit trickier. But just over there, I can see the carrot field I've had such success on recently. And it looks like it's been done and flattened, and which it really needed. And since I've been over it with the Deus one, I might go over it with this one and just see if I can pick anything up, um, which the last one didn't find. It's a bit grass is always greener, but I can just see it over there. And I just think it might be an interesting comparison. And I've had a nice time here but I think it might be a time for a bit of a change. And while it's there looking at me, I'm just gonna be thinking about it, so I might as well go over. Well, this is rather lovely. It's another Jetton, but a little one. I'll show you in a second. Oh, it's in lovely condition though, look at that. I don't think I've found one of the O's. Is it Rosen Orb? Probably they usually are. You've got, well, I don't know actually, yes. I think that's what it is. And what's on this side? That's a later one, I think. But look, I'll show you the other one quickly. That will give you an idea of the size difference with some of these little um, copper tokens, reckoning counters. <laughs> Well, well, that sounded incredible. It's the tiniest little barbarous coin you've ever seen. I'm not my speaker's plugged in, I'm afraid. I'm having rather an experimental day. And that's why I'm rather concentrating on just getting used to the machine rather than setting up too often. But I thought I'd show you this. This is, if he looks witchy or like a bit of a wizard and pointy and all the rest of it, then it's barbarous. That couldn't be more barbarous. So un-Roman emperor looking. Um, and then a dodgy god on the back. Um, but a really charming little coin. And as I said, that really, really, that was pelting. Well done, Doris. Well, I'm sorry if you've been following a few of the last videos, apart from the very last one, because I think I had three or four on this field. So you're gonna get much the same background and, um, and landscape as you've been seeing a bit recently. It's not particularly beautiful either, but it's a bloody good field. And when I was on here previously, it was like, it was like the Alps. Now they flattened it. Well, it's not flat, but it's a damn sight better than it was, which means I've got no excuse now. I've got to do it a bit more scientifically. I don't know how long we've got on it, but it's a brilliant field. I've found loads of stuff on it, and I'm already finding a few bits and pieces now. I'm gonna put my hat on. I'm not doing that many live digs because I'm just concentrating on this machine. The sooner I get to, to, to grips with it, the better. So I'm a bit more familiar with what I'm digging. But as I said, I found a few more bits and pieces. Amongst other things, I don't know if you saw the video from a few months ago of when I found that napped flint, that mesolithic, very obvious flint. Well, my eyes now is looking for a bit more of these sort of things. Now, I think these might be lithics. I think these might be the little blades that get chipped off a bigger bit of flint, a bigger bit of flint. The core is used for chipping off smaller bits. It's not a very flinty field, this. These bits are very unusual. Um, they don't look like the other stones, so maybe I'll put them on the detecting hub. There's, ex there's stone experts on that, but I reckon, I reckon that's it. Oh my God, there might be a fly in that one. There's something in the rock. Anyway, there's those, not metal, but I've found a tiny little ring. I think it must be a ring because I can see where a little jewel may have, a stone may have sat, but I don't think that's very old. And this is rather interesting. I don't know what it is. It's a sort of hanging, um, well, I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's got some detail on it and some decoration. 
and jolly nice thing so it's picking up some tiny bits of copper which we haven't found before and I think I've also found a curse I don't know I... we find loads of bits of rolled up lead don't we but this just this one this looks a bit more a bit more obvious look at all the rubbish I've dug up that's quite a nice button actually I thought that was a seal matrix when I first got it out on that side and just saw how deep it was there and that's a little Georgian coin. I put all those down there. <sighs> yeah, here it is. It's just very, very tightly wrapped and very, very old. And I don't know what, 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 how they should look, but I just reckon that could easily be someone writing, dear Zeus, dear, dear Jupiter, please destroy... <laughs> Lance, who's been stealing my cows. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, um, I reckon that could be something. But let me just get rid of all that there. Let me just plug you in quickly. You can see how this new machine sounds. Right, there we go. I've got it set up to sound much the same as the last one. And it's, and it's working. Um, but that... Actually, it's working a lot better through the speaker for some reason. I don't know if that's just luck. Let's have a little look. As I said, I'm not doing that many live discs. I've just got too much to think about today. But we'll soon be back on them. Because this field, I've got to do this properly now. No excuse. No excuse to bomb about. Well, that's boring. I am sorry. I've found hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bits of lead. And that's just another one. But anyway, we'll go on for a little longer and then I'll come back here next week. So far with that, so good. Well, I think we might end on this. I've been out a long time digging everything, which is what you have to do when you've got something new. And I've dug a lot of rubbish and I think this is going to be fun, this machine, when I get the hang of it. I really do. But it is going to take a bit of getting the hang of it. And those who who know about this machine have told me that. So it, it, don't compare it too much to the Deus One. It's very similar, I've got to say. But um, but um, you know, it, it, you've got to treat it as a machine in its own right. Now, come on, you. That's quite nice. Knowing today it'll probably be lead again. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> Driving me potty. Just there. But it's been bloody good fun. I've really enjoyed it. But I think... It's going to... Oh, just a bit of scrap. I would have probably have dug this with the old machine to be fair as well. There's a bit of that in here. But we're getting to the good bit. I've started on the quieter section on purpose. And I think we'll come and do that this week. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.